In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up roles and permissions in Oracle Sales Planning Cloud. There are two levels of security in Sales Planning Cloud. This tutorial focuses on assigning application level roles and artifact permissions in Sales Planning Cloud. To see how to create users in Oracle Cloud My Services and groups in Sales Planning Cloud, please see the tutorial Setting Up Users and Groups for Oracle Sales Planning Cloud. First, log on as a service administrator and navigate to Access Control. Let's look at a scenario where you assign roles and permissions for these groups of users. First, let's look at application level roles. Application level roles grant permissions to certain areas or processes in the application. You can assign application level roles to individual users or groups. I'll assign the appropriate roles to each user group. Next, let's look at artifact permissions. You assign users and groups permissions to artifacts like dashboards, forms, dimensions, members, and business rules. For example, you must enable access to the quota planning and advanced sales forecasting dashboards before users can use pre-built sales planning functionality. Permissions assigned at the folder level are inherited by dashboards and subfolders underneath. Giving users read permissions to a dashboard enables them to use the forms embedded there. You can also grant permissions to individual forms in the Forms Manager. Next, let's look at dimension permissions. By default, the Measures, Scenario, and Version dimensions have security applied at the dimension level, which disables access for all users except service administrators. Grant permissions at the hierarchy or member level in a dimension to enable access. For the quota planning measures, I'll give write permissions to all groups but sales rep and change the relation to descendants inclusive to apply it to the hierarchy. For the forecast measures, I'll give write permissions only to sales managers and sales ops. You can also enable access to the entire dimension for all users by disabling security at the dimension level. Note. Users must have access to at least one member in every dimension to view data. Next, grant access to pre-built business rules. For example, administrators and users who enter forecast data need the ability to launch the Push to Reporting Cube rule after submitting their data, so I'll grant launch permissions to the Sales Manager and Sales Ops groups. I'll also grant launch permissions to the Sales Ops group for administrative business rules such as Base Forecast Push, Process Actual, Rollup, and RPT totals to GSP. Finally, you can create custom navigation flows for different groups to control what users see when they log in. For example, I'll create a navigation flow for sales managers that doesn't display the rules icon on the home page because sales managers should only launch rules from forms. You assign the navigation flow to a group, and then activate it. Now my users can access the features they need in Sales Planning Cloud. Note, you can use the Migration tool to create a snapshot of your access permissions. Use the snapshot for migration from the current instance to another. Thanks for watching. 